Hello everyone and welcome to follow my travel vlog. I arrived in Milan and the first thing I did was eat because I was so hungry since I didn't really eat anything on the plane. And this was super good. I normally don't like ham, but it was so good in Italy and everything. Next thing we did was go to this garden and it was really nice and relaxing after a long trip. It had all these nice buildings, so much greenery, um, very lovely area to relax in. A lot of people had their dogs there also and many of them were unleashed which I was a little bit worried about but all the dogs that my little Freddy encountered were very nice. They just nicely sniffed him or maybe played with him but it was all good and they also had like dog parks inside it with gates. This area had a very nice looking palace shown here and also as the previous clip showed there was a planetarium and a natural history museum and I also thought these statues were kind of fun. The next building you see is the Opera House of Milan and after that we went to the square that has all these buildings that you might have seen online. The most famous area with this church. The square also has this shopping mall that looked really fabulous from the outside and also the shops inside were mostly more luxurious side. And this bookshop, oh my god, these English books, imagine having these so beautiful cover books in your bookshelf, so beautiful and magical. As you can see from these windows, Milan is a very fashionable city. Then we walked to this medieval castle, which was super nice, and it was used as a museum, and you could buy tickets to go inside, but we just enjoyed the outdoor views for free, and it was perfectly enough. And then I walked through the park of the castle to the city gate. And after the old city center, there was this newer part called City Life with all these very interesting looking buildings and at first I was really fascinated by it and I really liked it but after walking there for a longer time it was just kind of odd to me and I don't know you comment what you think about it The next morning I took a train to Lake Como to this coast called Varena and spent the day there. I was staying at this hotel and it was super expensive area but I would definitely, definitely recommend going there if you have the opportunity because it was like the most beautiful place ever. We were swimming here at this dog beach. These views were straight from a fairy tale book, so perfect. This place didn't have really a lot of shopping options or so much to do, but the nature views were amazing. And this villa also had the most beautiful gardens. The ticket cost five euros for me, but I would say it was definitely worth it to see this beautiful area. I had this pizza for dinner and it was quite affordable, but very delicious. This hotel had a breakfast included and it was kind of basic, but everything on it was nice and I liked that you could toast your bread on the toaster here. After breakfast, I took a ferry to Bellagio. It took like 15 minutes and it was all perfect. And because I was there early, there was not too many tourists yet, so I had all the time to do peaceful shopping and eat my ice cream without waiting in line. It was the best and most authentic strawberry ice cream I've ever had in my life. And this was the most prettiest bag ever.
And I came here to this very, very beautiful restaurant to have aperol spritz and I also ate a salad here. The mountain views by Lake Como were amazing everywhere. So, so beautiful. I was just amazed every time. For our Lake Como visit, the purpose was just to relax and I think this was really the perfect place to do that since it had just all these tiny little places so you can't really exhaust yourself with too much activity. After a while, Bellagio was filled with so many tourists that we didn't really feel like staying there. So we walked to this other side and there was this, it used to be a fishing village kind of place that was very quiet and so nice. But this one was a little bit aggressive towards my dog. In the afternoon, a lot of people wanted to get on the ferry so we had to wait a little bit to get on one. The day before this, we climbed up here to this hill that is shown now and it was actually super exhausting. This cat lived in the same building as our hotel was and the lady that owned the cat always let him in from the window and Freddy was just really fascinated by the cat but the cat didn't really like him unfortunately. Today I was dining at this restaurant that looked really nice. The food was a little bit on the expensive side. It was perch fish with risotto, local dish. But today was the worst weather, well, the night only. It was stormy, raining so much. Um, and it took a while to go back to the hotel. But next morning was lovely, as you can see from here. This was the lover's lane, and I also took a video of this couple walking it. Next day was mostly traveling, except for this art exhibition in Milan, where I actually met this artist who signed his new book and drew a picture on it that was super nice. This exhibition was more than just art on the walls. You can see it was so beautifully visualized. There was music, you could literally feel like you're in the book. There was different smells. It was just like being part of the world. And everything was also translated into English so you could understand the story. I did not like the other rooms I had so far, but this one is tacky enough to be fine. Also, the hotel itself is super nice. The hotel also had this small garden area that was very nice. And this was how the hotel looked inside. This very interesting kind of decoration style and really my cup of tea. So nice and maximalist. And this was the view from our balcony to this patio area. Our hotel was at Rapallo and it had this nice beach a very nice vibe like tourists yes but not too much just not overly crowded but very enjoyable kind of place very beautiful this gorgeous art nouveau painting was at the ceiling of 
this music kiosk not far from the beach. And then I learned that Freddy can actually swim, but he didn't really enjoy it so much. Then I ate a local dish again, this pasta with pesto sauce. Then we jump on to the next day, that was a day trip to Portofino. But it was actually very close, so it was just a quick bus ride there. I had focaccia for breakfast here, and it was actually the second time I had it for breakfast in Italy. I really liked how the houses were so colorful. It brought so much joy to the area, but the area was so expensive and there was way too many tourists. And that's why I have to say that I liked the other places we visited more on our travel, but it was absolutely beautiful area. During this trip, I swam at Lake Como and I also swam at the sea here and the seawater was much warmer than the water at the lake. We also went to a dog beach here, but it was nothing like the dog beach at Lake Como. It was just bad. I kept tripping and my legs were bleeding from the rocks on the beach. This Christopher Columbus monument is from Santa Margherita Ligure. Later I did a little bit of shopping at Positano and Antica Sartoria. And this was the hotel room from our last day in Milan. I really love old movies and this Sofia Lawrence restaurant was a really nice place to spend the last dinner. I think on the last evening we both were just so tired from the traveling. So it was time to go to bed and then to the airport the next morning. Thanks for watching my travel vlog.